As Russia's war on Ukraine enters its second month, President Biden is on the world stage, meeting with key U.S. allies. At emergency summits with NATO and G7 leaders in Brussels, Biden announcing a new set of sanctions targeting Russian elites, members of parliament, defense firms, and the country's central bank. President Biden also says the U.S. will provide an additional $1 billion in humanitarian aid and take up to 100,000 Ukrainian refugees, though the White House hasn't laid out how yet. The U.N. reports more than 3.6 million people have fled Ukraine since the war began and half of all the children in the country have now been displaced. In an address to NATO leaders, Ukrainian President Zelensky once again begging for more military help and accusing the West of not doing enough to help his democratic country. NATO has yet to show what the alliance can do to save people, to show that this is truly the most powerful defense union in the world. His plea for help comes as Ukrainian forces continue their relentless defense of key cities. U.S. defense officials say the Russian military east of Kyiv has been pushed back to 34 miles outside of the capital. And to the north, the Russians are now in defensive positions. NATO's Secretary General warns Russia could resort to using chemical weapons as a pretext to escalate its attacks. Any use of chemical uh, weapons will um, uh, totally change the nature of the conflict. President Biden is set to hold a press conference from Brussels today after another high-stakes meeting with European leaders. Elizabeth Schulze, ABC News, Washington.